Scorpio, thanks for visiting the Zoo Weekly Reading for February the 5th to February the 11th. And yes, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And I've shuffled, everything's ready, so let's start your reading for Scorpio. So the first card you have you passed is the Eight of Wands. So yes, I'm actually seeing that um, someone could have been flirting with you at this time. I'm seeing a lot of um, fast kind of flirty energy around you at this time but maybe you weren't maybe you didn't realize maybe you weren't realizing this was what um was going on because i'm seeing that this friendly person was really really fun friendly talkative and that's what they like they talk and they're friendly um so maybe you know this friendliness you you weren't sure whether they were actually flirting or not you didn't realize because that's what they like they're a friendly person and you know this isn't someone who you see socially i'm seeing but maybe this person could be in the workplace maybe they could be around um, some other thing that you're doing maybe some hobby or some other thing I'm not seeing that you see them socially I'm not seeing that you go out and see them that way something like that maybe you know them online something like that um, but yeah, because I'm seeing it, it could be online because I'm seeing that maybe they're not around you at this time or they weren't around you at this time or they're not around you now but they were then it's something like that because i'm seeing that um, i'm seeing that they're not always around you you don't go out and see them um socially or after work it, it could be something you could see them at work you could see them during the day maybe you just see them online i don't know but yes this person is flirting with you but they're a really funny you know they were a really funny um they're a really funny friendly person so it was like well you were thinking are they actually flirting or not or maybe you just didn't realize because they're just friendly that's what I'm seeing there so the next card you have your past is the seven of cups so yes I'm just seeing that um yes you're trying to find out the truth about something or you're wondering whether um something someone was telling was the truth it was something like that you're thinking is this the truth is this not the truth and you you know you knew some things this person had said in the past in your more distant past had been dishonest with you or maybe they weren't quite telling you everything so that was what was making you um distrust this person this time or think something wasn't quite right with what, with what they were saying and you know but you weren't sure because what they were saying sounded like um, it could possibly be true but you're just not sure you're just feeling something was missing with what they were saying and your instincts were really um warning you so this you know this has come up in your past with this person or some person who was dishonest or not quite honest with you and you know you you seem to be dealing with these kinds of people a lot so it might be the same person if this resonates um if it, if this is still happening this is in your past just be careful of who you have around you and if this is the same person that keeps cropping up again and again who's dishonest please don't have this person around you because they've caused you problems before that's what i'm seeing um the last card you have in your past is the eight of pentacles so yes i am seeing that someone could have told you something about this person um in the seven of cups maybe someone's warned you maybe someone's looking at what you're doing they're looking at what you're doing and they're not happy or they're looking at your friendship or your relationship with this person and they're not happy that you're with this person it might be a parent it might be some a friend or someone who cares about you and i'm seeing that they could have been warning you against this person or telling you something negative um, about this person in the seven of cups and deep down i think you know this you, your instincts are telling you or they were telling you at this time um, that this person is doing something that isn't right definitely um, you know this but um, I'm not seeing that you listen to this other person who is warning you because I'm seeing that you just want to be independent it's like you deep down you know this person was doing something dishonest or wasn't quite right but you didn't want to listen to this other person because it was like I know what I'm doing I'm you know I'm not stupid you can't tell me what to do it's that kind of thing I'm not seeing you saying this saying these words to them but that's what you were thinking it was like you didn't want to be told what to do but really this person cares about you that's why they were telling you this and really this person's worth listening to or they were worth listening to because you can't trust this person or you couldn't trust this person at this time and this person could see this this person could see this that's what i'm seeing so yes the first card you have your present is the hanged man so again i'm just seeing that um 
yes, you know something isn't right about this person. I keep getting this. Um, but I'm seeing that maybe you, you just don't want to do anything about this for some reason. And yes, again, this was in your last, last reading that you had this dishonest person or in one of your other readings. I'm sure I keep seeing this coming up again. And um, I'm seeing you pulled in all different directions. It's like your instincts are telling you one thing, your head's telling you another thing, and your heart's telling you another thing. It's like you're pulled in all these directions with this person. It's like a tug of war inside you, that's what I'm seeing. Um, but you're still holding back at this time with the hanged man. You're not actually taking any action about this person. You're not making a decision yet. And I just really think that I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't want to tell you what to do, but again, because you didn't listen to this other person, so I don't know why you'll listen to me. But anyway, don't be around people who are dishonest. That's what I'm seeing there. You don't want these people. They just cause you trouble. You don't want to be around these people. But I won't tell you what to do, so yes, <laughs> but I did anyway. The next card you have for your present, I'm sorry, is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, yes. Um, Yes, I'm seeing you're helping someone. You're helping someone. You're protective. You feel very protective of this person you're helping. This is female. This person that you're helping is a female. They could be younger than you because you do feel protective of them. And this person knows that they can rely on you. They can lean on you. They can trust you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yes, don't be angry. This is what I'm seeing. You're good at helping this person. You're good at helping other people. You're good at advising people. You can actually see um, what their situation truly is. Maybe they're seeing, oh, I've got this problem, this is going on, and you can come in and say, this is really what's happening. I'm opening your eyes to this. You need to do this and this. You can see that in other people's situations, but, but don't be angry. You're not as good as seeing things um, in your own situation that need to be changed in your own life, and you're missing seeing this. I think deep down you do know this person isn't honest, but you're not seeing this thing. Um, you're not wanting to see this. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm sorry. That's what I'm seeing. Um, the next card you have your present is the is the um, sorry the next the last card not the next card, the last card you have your present. That's down the bottom. Um, is the two of swords. So yes, again, I'm just seeing you being at a crossroads, not knowing what to do with this person at the hanged man. But again, I won't tell you what to do. But you know what I think. You know what I think. Um, and. Yes, it's this person in the Seven of Cups again, I'm seeing. And I don't know what's keeping you around them. Something's keeping you around them. You're in two minds. One side of you says, I don't think I can trust this person. And the other side of you says, I, I want to be around this person. I don't know why you want to be around this person. There's something, something holding you to this person. There's something that makes you feel that you can't get away from this person totally. Maybe you can start to get away, but you can't really get away. You can, you can, but this is how you feel. You feel that you can't get away. That's what I'm seeing there. So yes, the first card you have in your future is the Three of Pentacles. So I'm seeing this, I'm sensing that you could be working around two other people or working with two other people, not around two other people. Three people are working together, you and two other people. This is what's going to happen. This is in your future. Um, Yes, this could be um, either in the workplace, it could be on a work project or something around work, something like that. Um, but I'm seeing there could be some problems, especially with one of these people. Now, I'm seeing that you're going to have to work with these people. Um, you're going to have to be around these people, you're going to have to work with them. That's why I'm seeing this could be in the workplace, because, you know, you have to be with whoever's in your workplace, whoever's next to you, you can't run away from them. Um, and. Um, but you are going to handle this quite well, even though there are going to be a lot of problems going on. And, you know, I'm, I'm also seeing there are going to be divisions in this group between one person and two other people. So, yes, because if you can see this card, there's a column dividing these people. There's one person on one side and two people on the other side. So, yes, um, one person I'm seeing is going to go and try to go against two other people or what two other people want. And they're going to be a little bit... Um, of a pain, they're going to be in the way, and you're going to both try and say, look, let's just move forward with this, we both want to make this decision, two of us want this, you say you don't, we're going to have to do this, the deadline's coming up, and they're going to keep on, you know, saying no, obstructing things, and that kind of thing, but I think eventually, I'm seeing eventually this will work out okay in the end, this will be okay, this will be really frustrating, but you will be able to find 
um, the end, you'll come to the end of this project, that's what I'm seeing. So yes, the next card you have your future is the Hermit. Right, I'm seeing this card very, very literally and very, very simply. So yes, you can't see the whole, whole card there, but I know that this card, um, and if you have a pack of these um, cards, you'll be able to see that. The way I've got them laid out, you can't actually see the bottom of this card, but at the bottom of this card, there is snow. This, this hermit is standing on snow and he's looking down. He's standing on some snow. You can't see this um, at the moment, but yes, he's standing on snow. Um, I'm not lying, you'll have to believe me, he's standing on snow. And um, yes, what I'm seeing is you want to escape with this card. You've got drama at work at this time and you're going to have, um, you've got other stress with this other person around you at this time, still going to be around you and all of these things in your head. So it's like you're wanting, you're going to be wanting the noise to stop. You're going to be wanting the metal, metal, mental, mental clutter to stop. You're going to want all of this stuff that's going on to stop. So yes, I was pointing out the bottom of this card and you can't see it, but the bottom of this card has a um, lot of snow at the bottom. Actually, what I'll do, I don't normally do this. Here's my hand. I don't show myself much. There's the snow at the bottom of the hermit. There we are. Put it back. So there is snow. I'm not lying to you. There's snow at the bottom. Now, the way I feel about snow is, this is how I personally feel about snow, is that when you're in snow, there's this beautiful, beautiful feeling of silence and stillness in the air. It just feels so beautiful, so still, so silent. I mean, even if there are a lot of people around, the air still feels and sounds completely silent. It's like it muffles any sound. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking at this muffled sound. You're looking at this beautiful, still silence. And that's what you're going to get at this time. You're just going to be by yourself. You're going to rid your head of all of this clutter by being by yourself. That's what you want. You want the still silence. That's what I'm seeing there. So the last card you have in your future is the star. So yes, if you look at the star and you look at the hermit, um, there's a star in the hermit's lantern. The hermit wants to go on a certain path. The star's leading him on a certain path. So yes, um, this is telling me that you're going to need this silence to move on your path that you need to go. You need to go on this path. You need to go on this path away, or you're going to, this is in your future, away from this seven of cups person, away from this clutter, away from this mess in your head that this person in the seven of cups was giving you. This quiet is going to help you to find your way. It's going to help you to see things clearly. That's what I'm seeing. Because something needs to be done about this. And I'm seeing that at this time in your future, this could be the time where this happens with the hermit and the star. That's what I'm seeing. You're going to take this silence, you're going to clear your head, and you're going to find your path, which is away from this person. That's what I'm seeing. So Scorpio, I hope this resonated. Um, yes, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. If you'd like to, I'd really, really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching.